I assume that you're very nice before you started YouTube. Wait. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Cherry Dare, of course, and today we're doing an assumptions video about me. Oh dear. <laughs> so I asked you guys on my YouTube community page, which is obviously, you know, part of my YouTube channel. If you haven't already gone and checked that out, then maybe go do so. Some of you guys assume that I ask these questions, even for my answering personal questions videos, that you think I'm asking it on Twitter and stuff. I'm not. This is all on my YouTube. There is a community tab on there. Go check that out. Anyway, I asked, hey cherries, I want to make a video on assumptions about me. So tell me in the comments what you assume about me. And as you can see, I've got SpongeBob face is kind of nervous over here. It's very, very anxious of what you guys are going to ask me. For good reason. I mean, some of you guys. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, these assumptions are interesting. I'll tell you that. I'm sorry if your assumption didn't get in the video. There were so, so many of you that like said different things. So many that asked the same ones and I tried my best to fit in as many as I could. So this first one, hi, I assume you're an amazing pet owner. Your animals always look so happy. Love your videos, keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. I mean, I'm not an expert or anything, but yeah, I've got my two dogs and I've got my rabbit and I love them so much. And I've always had lots and lots of animals like throughout the years. I've, I've owned rats, I've mice, uh, oh my goodness, canaries, lovebirds. There's hamsters, gerbils, there's a lot in there. I've even looked after wild mice before, as in they were baby mice and I, I helped feed them. You're Yorkshire. What? Oh, oh no, 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 this is not fair, okay? I moved to Yorkshire. Please, I am not Yorkshire. I know I'm not. No, no. <laughs> I'm from the south of the UK. That is where I was born. Most of my life, majority of my life, I spent it in the south of the UK. Nearly a year ago, I moved to Yorkshire. But I'm not actually Yorkshire. People are assuming I'm, I'm Northern. Do I sound northern? Uh, oh, don't answer that actually. You're high on sugar. Maybe. I mean, I've had a lot of chocolate biscuits today. Does that count? I assume that you are secretly a goddess disguised as SpongeBob. Hold the phone. What? <laughs> what? What is that assumption? I'm not SpongeBob. Okay, and I, I, I mean, if you think I look like a goddess, then I'll take it. I don't feel it, but thank you, I'll take the compliment. I assume you're a YouTuber because your other job plans failed. <laughs> okay, this wasn't supposed to be rude, so please no hate. Oh no, it's fine, don't worry about it. I wanted your assumptions, I brought this upon myself. Okay, so being a YouTuber was a complete kind of accident? I guess. Uh, no, it, it wasn't because my other job plans failed. I could never quite decide what I wanted to do job-wise, career-wise. I had a lot of different hobbies, a lot of different interests, and I could never quite settle on exactly what I wanted to do. So when YouTube became more of a possibility, I was still really undecided. Like I said, YouTube was just one of those things that came along. I mean, I was prepared pretty much to either stay as a video editor or helping other YouTubers as like more of a virtual assistant and stuff like that, because those were my last two jobs before I became a YouTuber. I assume you're somewhat easily flustered. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Definitely. If I'm put on the spot, and especially if there's like loads of people watching me. Oh yeah, no, 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 I'm freaking out. I've been on stage before. Having the right words to say sometimes is just, my brain kind of explodes. You are sometimes thinking that you are a weirdo and a mess. Oh, not just sometimes, a lot of times. Oh, oh, so many times. I don't even know how to explain to you how many times a day I think that. And I'm pretty sure I say it as well. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I understand that I am not perfect. I am just one of those people. I'm kind of clumsy and things just tend to happen around me. And I am a little bit weird and a little bit mental. And I'm generally like that in day-to-day -day life. I assume that you were shy as a child. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, oh my goodness, yeah. I remember the first day that my mum took me to primary school. Big, big school, you know, like big people's school, like, oh my goodness, big classrooms, oh, not play school anymore. I was absolutely terrified of the blow dryers. You know how you dry your hands? Yeah, I was terrified of that. Very nervous uh, about making new friends. I was definitely shy. But when I became comfortable, I was definitely, definitely bossy. I had a lot of sass when I was a child. I assume that you're an introvert and aren't a crackhead all the time. <laughs> but 
when you film YouTube videos, you show your bubbly, funny, and extrovert sad. Mm -mm -mm. Like I said, it's different. I used to be probably more sort of like an introvert and I, I definitely wasn't outgoing all the time. As I've got older, I've definitely become more like, yeah, let's go and let's go do this and that because life is way more interesting for me like that. I definitely do have my days where I just don't want to do anything and I want to be a cozy burrito in bed. Me moving uh, and, and lockdown has made me appreciate the fact that I like going out and that I don't like being inside all the time. It's very hard, but for the most part I am quite bubbly and, and stuff anyway. I am a little bit shy, but I, for the most part I am what you get in your videos. What you get in your videos? My videos, whatever. <laughs> I think you love animals because you have so many. Uh, can I show them on the channel? Oh, because you're new. Well, welcome, welcome. Yes, uh, I, I'll put some photos so you can see my current my current little fur babies. But yeah, oh yes, I absolutely adore my animals. I've always loved animals since I was a kid. I've usually been surrounded by an animal of some sort. It doesn't matter if it's a hamster or a dog or love birds or, you know, birds or anything. I assume you don't like most of the gacha videos you react to. You just respond with positive comments about them to be nice. Oh. The people that make gachas spend a lot of time making them. So even if you think that they're bad or if you don't think they're maybe as well done as some of the other ones, everyone spends time doing gachas. They take a lot of work. They don't, they're not quick things to do. So anyone that makes them, I appreciate that. And I actually still really love reading them because of the stories that you guys create in them. Each one of them is a bit different. Something happens, something goes crazy. And yeah, okay, some of them don't make sense, but it means that I can never guess what's gonna happen. And I love that. I assume that you're a very nervous person. <laughs> I would scream if you put this in the video. So uh, yes, for the most part, I am nervous. Uh, I get a little bit anxious, especially if I'm out in public. You know, I get nerves just like most people. I'm not a super confident person. Obviously, it's different me talking to a camera right now. There's nobody else in my office, just me. There's been times in my life where I've been too nervous to do something and then I never end up doing it. As time has gone on, I've definitely made sure that whatever I'm nervous about, it doesn't stop me because I would have missed out on so many opportunities, uh, so, so many more fun things if I hadn't pushed myself to do it. I assume that you are like me and support the LGBTQIA community. <laughs> and someone is also asking, is Cherry Dett secretly gay? Well then, I guess they haven't seen my answering personal questions video. So yes, I do support that community because why not? It doesn't make sense not to for me. A lot of my friends are in that community, so why would I then be that person that is like, no. Everyone can be who they want to be. I never want to be that person that say, you can't do that because it doesn't make sense. Why should I be in control of anybody else's life? They can be whoever they want to be. They can love whoever they want. It's entirely up to them. So yeah, they should have the rights to be able to do that and no one should shame them for it either. And no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gay, I'm, I'm, I'm straight. Last time I checked, I was straight. <laughs> I assume that she started YouTube because she was inspired by her friends. Um, not exactly. I have done a video, again, answering personal questions and all that kind of stuff is also answered in more detail. But no, um, originally I started a singing channel years and years ago when I was in high school. I actually got um, picked on for it. They picked, they found my channel pretty quick and I actually took it down. So I always wanted to do gaming though, because ever since I was young, I've always played games. I'm quite a nerdy, geeky person. I, I just, I love games, but never really had the know-how to be able to do it. I wasn't very techy in terms of computers back then either. I had no idea about the free software to use to record or, or anything. Some past friends kind of gave me a little bit of a know-how. Wow, yeah, I could, I could make some gaming videos and I did. And that's how it all started. But again, I go more detail in some of my other videos. You assume I have a child. If you count my dogs and my rabbit as my children, then yes. Human-shaped children, no, I do not have any of those. <laughs>
human shaped children what am i all about oh that i don't like playing camp minecraft okay so for you guys that love camp minecraft all the guys are on like american time zone even henry who is from the uk has now got his sleep schedule on a US time zone. It's really difficult for me to collab on the server with the guys because I have to stay up late. So I usually record between about 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., which really does not coincide with any of their recording schedules. So I've had to recently change up my recording schedule so that I can actually collab with them because that's the only reason why I didn't upload it. I just felt really bad that I couldn't collab with them and I felt it was always boring with just me in it. And people also pointed out that I wasn't collabing with anyone and I was like it's not that I don't want to it's just time zones <laughs> I assume that you are not married oh you're not being mean don't worry about that uh no I, I'm, I'm not married I assume that you became a youtuber because you needed to make money to pay for college okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna proper lay that one out for you you do not start YouTube to get money because it is really difficult to do that. This as a normal job is insane. You have to work so many hours to be a YouTuber and you don't actually start getting money straight away when you start uploading videos. You have to reach a certain amount of I think it's 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to be even able to monetize your videos, to earn money from your videos. And even then, unless you're pulling in really big views, you're not really earning much at all. So I'm just gonna lay that one out for you. People that start YouTube to think that they're gonna earn big money, it's just not a thing. I came across YouTube as a complete accident. This was never my in intention, my plan. It was just something that happened. I did go to college but I left and the same with university as well but I left uh, due to problems back at home uh, like I said my granddad was ill when I went to university so I left and came back I assume that all you do is play games and watch TV yo I wish I wish that was the case I think for over a month now I've not really properly sat down and played games I really wish that was the case I've been so busy working on YouTube, doing all the extra projects I have on the side that I've been wanting to do for ages and I can't talk about those though, so sorry. Uh, plus all the extra projects that I have at home, uh, just getting stuff sorted, reorganizing the house, painting the garage, you name it, I've been doing it. I haven't really had much time to spend with friends recently either. It's pretty sad actually. I assume you miss your long hair and that you don't drink. Okay, so yeah, I do. I'm, I'm currently trying to grow my hair out it's slowly getting there but it got a bit damaged so kind of just trying to let it be healthy again and yeah to be fair i actually don't really drink i'm probably one of the few out of my friends that, that don't really it's just not really something that i do i'm not one of those people that's like yo party i'm not i'm not like that i'm just someone that can go like a year or something or even more than that without actually having a drink it's, it's not that i don't drink and that i can't drink it's just literally i i just don't i assume you do not like horror games like five nights at freddy's yo five nights at freddy's is so much fun but my goodness does it get me on edge my shoulders are usually like super tense and i'm like <gasps> panicking a little bit inside but that's the whole point of horror games isn't it and i actually really do like horror games i love playing them on my channel i'm just a little bit not sure what to put on the channel in terms of horror games i'm not sure what you guys would like to watch if you guys have any ideas of what you feel like might be cool for me to try on the channel, maybe if enough of you guys end up saying an option or, or something like that, maybe I might do it. I assume that you are one of the fine specimens who doesn't hate rats for no reason, actually likes them. I miss my rats. I miss my rats too. At one point we had about nine. They, they were just the cutest things ever. Pretty sure somewhere on my Instagram there is a couple of photos with my old rats in or some of them. I'll. I'll put some photos up for you guys so you can kind of see uh, but I, def I definitely did have a lot of rats and I love them so much. They're some of the most loving pets I've ever had. I assume that you weren't wanting to be a YouTuber. Oh. Oh, A, you wanted to do a different job or B, you're inspired by someone else to do YouTube. It wasn't that I wasn't wanting, like I said, it was just never an option. I know that being a YouTuber is very hard work. Sometimes it's just pure luck. Well, sort of. It does take a little bit of luck 
uh, and a lot of hard work to get to a point of having YouTube as your job. Like I said, I started my channel so, so long ago. It was just for fun. I saw that other people were able to do it and I thought I always wanted to play games and put them on YouTube, so why not try it? That you're mean off camera? So basically haters and just want to be popular. And how is Sponge Sp <laughs> How is SpongeBob sweating if he's a sponge? All right, okay, that is... Oh boy. I mean, obviously I'm gonna say it. It's up to you whether you want to believe me or not. I am not one of those YouTubers. I know that there might be a small handful that really don't care about their fan base or they're just doing it for views or, or whatever. But no, I mean, I've never been that person. Uh, I like to think that I'm kind of more grounded than that. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. So it doesn't make sense for me that, that I would hate you guys. I don't, I don't know. I put it on Instagram. I do reply sometimes if someone's tagged me on an Instagram post, you've made me fan art or, or anything along those lines because I think it's just so, so sweet of you to go out your way to do that. Sometimes the comments you say are just the sweetest things ever and they honestly make my day. Like said, sometimes, occasionally, I put them on my Twitter and say, hey guys, I love my community, aren't they just the best? And I just show them like comments here and there because you guys are. I don't know. Will, am I mean off camera? You got, you see all of the, uh, <laughs> all of the outtakes of it. You tell me. <laughs> I assume that you're very nice before you started YouTube. Wait, so you think I'm not nice? Oh dear, that's bad. Wait, hold up, do you think I'm not nice? I assume that you've had a hard time with hate comments, yes. Yeah, there's definitely days where the hate comments really do get to me. It's really hard to just sit there and ignore them. And, you know, there's a lot of people that obviously don't care. They'll just say whatever because they're behind a keyboard. It's one of the reasons that in some of my videos I say, just read or think about what, you're, what you've got in typed before you actually send it. You just never know what a person's going through. So just be nice, okay? It's not hard. Sorry if this comes off as mean, but I assume that you joined YouTube just to be noticed, famous, and maybe you're a mean person off camera. Uh, I'm sorry if I went too far. Oh, okay. All right, no worries. Okay, so this is kind of like the other one. No, like I said, it's just one of those things that happened because you never know if your YouTube is actually going to do well or not. I still think being a YouTuber is super difficult. I didn't expect my channel to even get to 100K. I always hoped that maybe it would one day because then I could be like, wow, I did that. I actually did achieve something. And like I said, I have that award behind me because of you guys. I, I never thought I'd even get it. I do a lot of stuff off camera that I don't talk about. Yeah, there's definitely days where I might have said something and I thought, oh, I maybe shouldn't have said it like that, but I don't do it on purpose. I'm not being mean to be mean. Like I said, I try to be as nice as I can. Hope that I'm making right decisions, just like everybody else in this world. You hate your job and you only do YouTube for the fame and money. Oh my goodness. No, definitely not. YouTube is just one of those things that you can't predict whether it's going to go well or not. I didn't think my YouTube would get this far. <laughs> and uh, no, oh gosh, no. This is definitely the hardest job I've ever had, but it's definitely not a job I hate. There's, there's days where I'm, you know, anxious because a YouTube video didn't do as well and you're thinking, oh, but they didn't like that, but they liked the one before. Okay, so I have to think of something else that they like. I just want to make videos to make you guys laugh and smile. And obviously the, the more views it gets, the better it is because I know it's reached more of you. And I think, oh, that's great. I've brightened up that many people's days. Okay, so there's some questions here. You act different off camera or I assume that you don't act any different off camera. So there's both sides there. This is actually quite interesting. So you know what, to help me answer some of these questions, I'm gonna ring Yami. Hello. Oh, hi, how are you? Hi. I'm good, how are you? Oh, uh, you know, recording a video and uh, I came across some assumptions of me that I figured you might be able to answer and people might believe me. <laughs> okay, what are the assumptions? Okay, so there's people that are asking and, well, assuming that I act different off camera and some of them are saying that I don't act different off camera. Oh, no, you definitely act the same. <laughs> I think you act totally the same. You're crazy in real life and you're crazy on your videos. <laughs> Oh wow, okay. <laughs> they assume that I barely swear and never swear. And uh, the other one is literally that I play games in my off time like I would when I'm doing a YouTube video. Oh, okay. Well, I rarely hear you swear. 
web, you do do it, but I guess it's like extreme cases. Maybe you like bang your toe or something. <laughs> And then, yeah, you, you play games off camera too. We, we play games together on a night. It's a little bit insane when we play games, guys. It gets a bit surreal. It gets intense. It does indeed. Thank you so much. I figured that maybe people would believe you because I could just say whatever. <laughs> No, you, you do tell the truth. That's one good thing about you. Oh, my friends are so nice to me. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and, and record the rest of this video, but I appreciate you <laughs> answering that. Okay, I think it's time to answer a question slash assumptions because, oh boy, have you guys spammed me with this one? Do I have a boyfriend? Am I married? Uh, like, do I have a fiance? Do I actually have someone in my life? Am I dating? There is like so many of those questions. <laughs> I think it's time to answer them. As you guys know, in my last two answering personal questions video, I said that I was single and that was true. That wasn't a lie. However, there is more recently somebody <laughs> that I won't go into too much detail for because it's very new. It's why I haven't really said anything before now because it's still a new relationship. There's no point asking me who or anything like that because I'm not going to say and I'm not going to talk any more about it right now. But as you guys have asked it so so much and I was like okay right maybe I should actually because I don't like lying that's not my thing. That's pretty much that information for you. You can do whatever the heck you want with that. Okay I thought she wasn't friends with Lauren's side. Oh Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> she, she's one of my friends. We've also recorded together before and, and stuff like that. But no, she's a friend of mine. She's super awesome. She's like one of the sweetest people I know. I, I don't know how else to describe her. She's just so wonderful. I assume that being a YouTuber is quite hard. Yeah. Oh my goodness, is it definitely, definitely difficult and I can't even stress and say enough how much time goes into a YouTube channel. One of these days I will do a day in my life so you guys can actually see what happens. I assume that she has always been a gamer, like nerdy girl, not like the stereotype girls. Uh, I, I get what you're saying, but I don't really say that myself. I, I am a gamer, I've definitely always been like that. I'm pretty sure my dad was the person that bought me my playstation one if you guys know what i mean i assume you'd probably know what playstation is but the fact that you might not know what a playstation one looks like yeah and my nan uh gave me a game boy the black and white game boy not game boy color not game boy advance not game boy advance sp not a ds nothing like that game boy black and white uh, the gray game Boy. those were like my first ones that I ever had console wise. Oh, besides the NES, the Nintendo, of course. That was also a thing and I used to love playing Duck Hunt on it. I assume that you went to college, university, but dropped out to pursue YouTube. Again, kind of already answered that, but no, uh, YouTube just happened and I dropped out of university, college for separate reasons, which were more my home life as in family, not doing so well, like health wise. I don't assume this, but my dad assumed that you shave your eyebrows. I'm so sorry. Yo, Luna Gacha Studios, I don't know who your dad is. No, I, if I shaved my eyebrows, oh boy, I'm one of those people that can't do anything even. My eyeliner is usually messy. Uh, eyebrows are usually all over the place. I am not one of those girls that could actually shave my eyebrows and get away with it as in drawing them on because they would be like this always wonky can you guys see that's actual hair okay that's look hang on can i like mess it up no i can't of course not for the video it's not going to but yeah that's actual hair there okay that's that's not shape that is the most random one out of the lot and i love it i assume your life isn't what it's like on your videos okay meaning that you're not always smiling or being the happy person you are but you're still happy with your life choices yeah okay so yeah i mean i'm not always like this because you just can't be in life i don't know any person that is super incredibly happy all of the time you know there's gonna be more serious moments and maybe some little bits of down moments but for the most part yeah i mean i i am generally quite happy my life is 
well, actually pretty good. I am in a really, really good place with life right now. It's the first time in my life I felt stable and more okay with myself and my position and stuff. And I, I, I don't know how to explain, but no, I, I am happy with how my life is right now. And the choices that I've made to get here, some of them, eh, I wouldn't have liked to go through it again, but it's what got me here, so I can't really uh, regret them either. Okay, so this is the last one <laughs> that I decided to look at. You're pregnant! They assume I'm pregnant! Do I look pregnant? I dare you to answer that in the comments. Do, do I do I look pregnant? Does that... does this... do I... do I... Do... <laughs> I'm slightly concerned if someone does think I look pregnant right now. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, for real, that was a lot of assumptions about me. You guys had a lot of different ones. Obviously, a lot of them were surrounding YouTube and, you know, am I really like this? I guess it was more like you were trying to nail down my personality, which is really interesting. But for the most part, this is me. And I love being me. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you have any other ideas that you want me to do on this channel, leave them in the comments, guys. I do read the comments. And at the moment, I am kind of struggling on what you guys might want to watch on this channel. YouTube has been very weird recently, and it's just trying to figure out what you guys might want to watch. But I'm still going to keep trying, and I'm still going to keep guessing what you might want to watch. So there might be some weird videos coming up, but don't mind them. Don't worry about it. That's just me. And I love being me. Don't forget to check out my description because I have a bunch of other like social links in there and you know, maybe some other videos that maybe you missed out on previously as well. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye guys.